Hello there, this is part three of our uh, procedure text sharing series. And uh, yeah, so let's continue with uh, text sharing this. I think we lack some color, color variation here. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of create a gradient shade from uh, where we have peaks on these bumps. I, I want it to kind of fade from uh, a reddish, a uh, pink, and then to that purplish color. So for that, I'm just going to use uh, this noise texture uh, we have from, uh, I think here. I think if I can create, if I can color, colorize uh, this here, I can create that effect. So what I can do here, I th let's add a color, sorry, a convert color ramp. Make this uh, purplish, maybe a little bit darker. A bit darker and then give it a bit some reddish tint like this this and uh, then we can use a color mix rgb to mix these two colors so if i can i think i can put this here in here if we view this node you can see we're getting a bit of a color variation but uh let's try playing around with the blending mode and see what we can get if we use overlay getting us the results we need. Let me just preview this here. The preview the final thing and see. Okay, so you can see we are getting some reddish bits there. I think is what we were lacking and maybe reduce on the roughness. And I think the reflection is too uh, uniform. Uh, we need to add in, to break it apart just a bit. Uh, we can maybe use a different noise texture or just use, let's see if we preview this. Yeah, I think we can use this as our roughness map. So I can connect this directly to the roughness map. Now if I preview this, uh, it should break up uh, the the uh, reflectivity or roughness of our shader just a bit and we're looking at how to create uh, this greenish part here and uh, just to have some bit of control over the roughness I'm also going to add a convert math node here I see this is a bit too rough so I can just use this now control Power up or yeah, I think I need uh, these spots to kind of pop out a little bit more. So let me see. I uh, might need to play around with a different blend mode. Let's see, color mix RGB. Let's try screen no it has to calculate every time we change something but uh, so I'll just edit those parts out I think yeah this works better I can see we have broken up the colors just a bit and uh, we also get those nice, nice spots. Now we can make them blend a little bit better. I'm pulling some of these around. Look at uh, the roughness. 
think that looks great. Now if you want to make it a bit darker, you just play around with this color here. And uh, I have that. So let's look at uh, how we're going to create this uh, other area here. So the insides here. So for that, let me first uh, create a new material here. Outside layer, all this outside layer. And then we can select this side here and give it a new material, all this inside. Should be the same for these areas here. Yeah, I think for this part we might have to do some baking uh, to bake these edges here uh, using layer weight. So let me see how we're going to do that. Uh, unfortunately, EV right now doesn't support uh, cavity maps. So let me just try and uh, see how we're going to do that. So we go to this material here. why it's been uh, this view has worked out of the previous material so you just click on this pin to unpin it anyway so unfortunately by the time of this recording uh if it doesn't support cavity map uh which you can find under i think it's called it's under geometry uh so under point names so if i add let's see see 